to the Poor Valley Princess Kitchen. I'm Beth Morgan, the Poor Valley Princess, and today I'm sharing with you a traditional cake recipe made by my mother as I was growing up that I dearly love. Now, a few weeks ago, I was at a barbecue and we were talking about different desserts that we love and things, and I just happened to mention this cake. And to my surprise, everyone at the barbecue reacted in such an amazing way they had never heard of this cake what is it you say it's a hot water cake it's a hot water chocolate cake which makes it even better so today come along with me as we make my mom's recipe for hot water chocolate cake the ingredients for this cake can be found in most of your kitchens, and that's one of the reasons why this is such a popular cake. We're gonna start out with two cups of self-rising flour. So I have sifted this already and measured it out to two cups. So here we go, two cups of self-rising flour. Any brand that you wanna use, this just happens to be the White Lily brand. Now, once we've got our flour, we're going to add a half a cup of white sugar. Now you can change this up and use different kinds of sugar if you wish, but this recipe calls for a half a cup of white sugar. So I'm gonna mix my two cups of flour with my half a cup of white sugar, and then I'm ready to throw in four tablespoons of baking cocoa powder four tablespoons. I'm gonna make sure those are even and not heaping because it does not say heaping. All right, there's two. So give us our chocolate flavor. There's three and there's four. Now let's whisk that cocoa powder into our dry ingredients. And you're going to have something that looks like this. Mmm. Smell that cocoa powder. Now we're going to add in um, some wet ingredients just to mix this up. We've got one cup of whole milk. And I'm just going to dump that right in. And six tablespoons of melted butter. And make sure it is melted butter. And now... I'm not using a mixer or anything. This is an old time recipe. And so we're just gonna hand stir this one in the bowl. I can remember my mother mixing this up on days when she was pressed for time and wanted to make a dessert for her family. And she could mix this dessert up so quickly. All right, I've got it mixed up now. Here's my batter. And I am gonna place this base layer in the bottom of an ungreased nine by 13 pan, okay? I'm using a glass pan today, but you can use whatever pan you have handy, but you do need to use a nine by 13. I'm just gonna press this batter into the bottom. This is gonna make the base of our hot water cake. Mmm, that smells divine. And I'm just gonna take my spatula and run that cake batter all the way into the corners. And then I'm just going to set that aside because now we're going to need to make the topping layer, which is the, my favorite part. So get a clean bowl and let me get the new ingredients ready and we will mix up the topping together. All right, now we're ready to mix up our little sugar topping, which is going to go over that base layer of chocolate cake batter that we just pressed into the 9 by 13 pan. You're going to need to start out with half a cup of white sugar. So pour in half a cup of white sugar, then 
half a cup of light brown sugar. And let's incorporate those two sugars together. Make sure I got all the sugar out of the measuring cup. We want to make sure it's nice and sweet. So we've got our two sugars mixed together. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of cocoa powder. More chocolatey goodness. And this is going to make my, my topping, my little sprinkled topping. So let's retrieve the batter that we placed in the 9 by 13 earlier. And once you have your sugars and your cocos all mixed together, I'm just going to sprinkle that all over the top of your 9 by 13 pan. Be very generous. Make sure not to miss out on any places on the cake batter. And this is what it's going to look like. Now the fun part. I've got a cup and a half of water in the microwave already boiling. Let me grab that. Now here's the fun part. This is not something you see very often in a recipe, but we are just gonna pour this cup of boiling water over our nine by 13 pan. This is gonna make the cocoa bloom. And it's super easy. Once you're finished, it's gonna look like this. And you can see the water running across the top there. I am gonna pop this in the oven, 350 oven, and I'm gonna let it bake for 40 minutes. I'm gonna check on it at 40 minutes. I'm gonna allow it to cook for five more minutes, probably. I'm gonna check it at 40. It's probably gonna take 45, and we're gonna have a hot water chocolate cake. Mmm, I can't wait. Here we go. I'm gonna check it in 40 minutes. So it is time for us to check on the hot water cake and I'm gonna pull it out of the oven and let's see what it looks like. Here we go. You can see it's formed a little bit of a crust on the top. I'm gonna let it cool for just a minute and then we're gonna taste and see how good this hot water cake is. You can see the bottom there. Hot water cake. It is time for us to see how this hot water cake turned out. So I am going to just get a little corner out. Oh my goodness. It is so moist. Mmm, mmm. It looks delicious. It smells yummy. But here's the real test. Mmm. That is delicious. The moment the moment it hit my tongue, I'm telling you, you could taste the chocolate, the cocoa. It's light, it's airy, it's moist. This cake would be so good with some homemade ice cream. I can see pairing this hot water chocolate cake with a homemade vanilla bean ice cream or even a strawberry ice cream, a homemade uh, strawberry ice cream. That would be so delicious. So, one more bite, just for good measure. Mm. That sugar crust on top gives it just a little bit of a bite, and then you bite into the soft, almost 
cloud-like inside. Now that's a good cake. So if you've never tried the hot water cake, I urge you to give it a shot. I'm going to post the recipe in the description so that you can follow along and cook it yourself at home. You, want, you might want to tweak this recipe. You could add in things like chocolate morsels, vanilla morsels, peanut butter morsels. You could add in a few of those just to give it a different taste or texture or flavor. There's lots of things you could do with this hot water cake. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time with me on the Poor Valley Princess channel, thank you so much for joining. And I hope that you got something out of this video. If you like and subscribe, you can get access to all the videos I've made so far. There are several recipes out there that you might be interested in and a few other things about living here in rural Appalachia. Our traditions include food, music, and fun. That's all for today. I'm Beth Morgan, the Poor Valley Princess, saying thank you for joining me. Enjoy your cake.